There is a question that often pops up when you start animating with 3ds Max. How do you make a character grab something like this? How do you parent and unparent at specific frames? Looking at the problem from a rigging standpoint, what needs to be done is changing the hierarchy of the objects, but dynamically. Here I have set up a simple animation to demonstrate. I am going to apply the Link Constraint Animation Controller on the bone on the ground. To do this, go into the Motion tab and replace the PRS Animation Controller by the Link Constraint one. There is now a new rollout called Link Params. I'm going to enter the Add Link mode and ask the bone to be linked to the hand. However, I've asked it to be linked from frame 1 and onwards. Let's undo this, scrub forwards to frame 42 and add the link again. And there we go! The bone is linked only when you want it. We're done here, right? Well, no. Since there is no link specified before this one, 3ds Max can possibly know what you want to happen before frame 42. Let's undo this. Since I want the bone to stay still on the ground, I'm going to link it to the world on frame 0, and then I'll add back the link on frame 42. Now it's behaving as intended. What you need to be aware of is that, no matter what you do, the linking will be performed on the given frames. If I change the motion of the hand from the keyframes on 40 and 45, the hand won't be grabbing the bone correctly. For this reason, I recommend that you create keyframes on the same frame as that linking happens. That way, adjusting the animation around those frames is 99% sure to not mess up the point of contact.